Greetings I am Dr S Munish Palachi today we'll be talking about nail pitting these two images show the normal anatomy of the nail so what is nail pitting pits are superficial depressions within the nail plate that vary in morphology and distribution the presence of nail pitting indicates a defect in the uppermost layer of the nail plate which arises from the proximal nail matrix it commonly affects the fingernails more so than the toenails the pitted nail grows faster than a normal nail pitting may be arranged in a transverse or longitudinal fashion or it may be disorganized in distribution this clinical photograph shows nail pitting So what is the pathogenesis behind this important clinical sign it is that in various diseases there occur clusters of parakeratotic cells in the stratum corneum these disrupt the process of normal keratinization as the nail plate grows outward these parakeratotic foci are exposed to the surrounding environment leading to gradual sloughing of these cells leaving a distinct depression within the nail plate although nail pitting is primarily associated with the disease of the proximal nail matrix the proximal nail fold can also contribute to this process because the ventral surface of the proximal nail fold is closely related to the nail matrix it is thought that parakeratotic and inflammatory cells originating from the structure become entrenched into the surface of the nail plate as parakeratotic foci the length of a pit is suggestive of the length of the time the matrix was affected by the disease or lesion a deeper pit is suggestive of involvement of intermediate and ventral matrix along with the dorsal matrix amount of time for which the matrix is free of any pathology directly corresponds to the length of the normal nail plate growth so what are the causes of nail pitting the common causes are psoriasis alopecia areata lichen planus eczematous dermatitis chronic kidney disease reiter syndrome vitiligo hemodialysis congenital pitting and some normal variants along with these trauma should be considered some uncommon causes of pitting of nails are parakeratosis pustulosa pemphigus vulgaris sarcoidosis dermatomyositis drug induced erythroderma secondary syphilis and chronic paronychia the different types of pitting are irregular pitting geometric pitting coarse pitting and cross ridging elconexis and rosenos depression irregular pitting it is characteristically observed in psoriasis in this the pits are usually shallow and small less than 1 mm This image shows irregular pitting as is usually seen in cases of psoriasis. Now other nail features of psoriasis can be appreciated such as onycholysis. Geometric pitting is characterized by multiple small superficial pits which are regularly distributed in a geometric pattern along longitudinal or transverse lines it is seen characteristically in cases of alopecia areata this image shows geometric pitting seen in alopecia areata cases coarse pitting and cross ridging this is characterized by the presence of very irregular pits which are usually seen in eczematous dermatitis rosenos depression or small pitted craters found 
on the middle and ring finger. They are seen in diabetes mellitus. Elconexus is the very large irregular defects in the dorsal nail plate characterized clinically by punched out lesions at the lunula that progressively move distally with the growth of the nail. They are seen in syphilis, Reiter's disease, trauma, etretinate and isotretinoin therapy. This clinical photograph shows the presence of elconexis. Nail pitting in psoriasis. Pitting is the most common manifestation of nail psoriasis. The pitting in psoriasis is irregular in depth and distribution on the nail plate. Isolated nail involvement with more than 20 pits are suggestive of a psoriatic etiology. More than 60 pits are unlikely to be found in the absence of psoriasis. Pitting can be helpful in building a clinical case for psoriatic arthritis, particularly in the absence of other definitive markers. Nail pitting in alopecia areata. There are regular shallow pits arranged both horizontally as well as vertically, giving rise to the scotch plaid appearance. Thank you.